Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila and I am here to do the weekly love reading for the Pisces. Um, so Pisces, you're not going to hear me shuffle this time because I've already got your cards laid out. I actually had to restart this video because I had some, uh, my son was kind of fussing. So um, this is going to be for May 11, 2016 to May 18, 2016. Uh, we're going to be doing a basic five card spread, current, past, present, and what cards are crossing you in the past and the present. I'm sorry, past and the future. So I did get the lovers for your current card. And that's so sweet. Like you are, if you're single, you're definitely going to meet somebody. Okay. You may already be attached and you might come into a situation to where you may choose to go with the new person that comes into your life. But this could indicate just a very, very good, strong relationship within the lovers, okay? It just can indicate that you guys have a really strong um, connection with each other, uh, with the lovers, okay? Um, now, I do see in the past, Pisces, you got the Four of Cups, which is you taking things for granted, okay? So I do see you doing that, either you or your partner, you know, somebody was, you know, taken for granted in the situation. And I do definitely see, um, I definitely do see that coming up. I'm sorry, I see it in the past. This is the past for you. Not in the future, this is the past. You became apathetic. And you just didn't care. Okay? And that's not a good place to be in, ever. Because I think apathy is probably one of the, you know, one of the most, the one, it's one of the worst things that emotions that a person can feel when they don't feel anything, when they just don't care. And I do see that coming up in the past. And, you know, I could just see you sort of taking it all for granted. Um, what's crossing you in the past, however, is the Ten of Cups. So there's definitely a strong foundation of a family that's here um, for some of you it was because of the family it was some sort of issue within the emotional aspect of it you know what I'm saying it was kind of like too much you just kind of became very withdrawn and in spite of everything, in spite of the fact that you recently reunited with someone, I can see that in the past. You know, even though you reunited with that person, you reunited with that person, it's still some sort of issue that's going on. It may not have anything to do with the relationship. It might just be something inside of you, Pisces, or either your partner. I see this as, as, as for you, though, okay? Now, the future does look a little bit brighter because you got the eight of, I'm sorry, you got the seven of pentacles. So for you to go from the four of cups to the seven of pentacles is really good for a future card. Um, the seven of pentacles is, 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 it means some good luck energy surrounds you. And it's also about using your skill to make something work, to make something manifest. I can also see that um, it suggests that you will avoid failure but fall short of runaway success in an endeavor, okay? So what this means is that, um, and I, I see this happening this week, you're going to, it's it's success, but you're going to have to realize that it's going to be slow, steady growth, okay? Okay. Um, and, and with this Four of Cups means a lot because you didn't appreciate what you had before. And I can see that coming up. And it, that's really weird for Pisces. But, I mean, I, I actually know a couple of Pisces, so I could definitely see that happening. Um, you know, not saying anything negative about, you know, the Pisces. But, I mean, they do have a tendency to swim in the other direction when things get difficult. Okay. It's kind of like a checking out process or just changing streams constantly, changing directions, being pulled in two different directions, which I still feel that you are because you got the lovers. And the lovers can indicate that you have two different paths to choose from. 
are two different women, two different situations. They're probably totally different from each other. So the seven of, of, of pentacles, it could be a positive card. And we're going to focus on the potential card. Um, as soon as I um, tell you one more thing. Things are going well for the person that you want. If you're not in a committed relationship already, you need to be open to it or even open to other possibilities. Now, um, this card is here to warn you to do not give in. Don't give in to suspicions and fear. All is well. So you can see that happening in the past. In spite of you having this beautiful relationship, you took it for granted. You wasn't really happy with it. And in the future, I do see that changing, okay, with the seven. But it's going to take work. The seven is about putting in the work required, okay? Um, and you might be feeling hopeful about your future, and you should be, okay? Because hopeful is better than apathy. And then you've got the three of wands. Moving on to your last card, we got the three of wands crossing this seven. So again... You got the three and the seven, and this is a 10, but it's going to take hard work. So looking at the numerology aspect of these uneven numbers, I definitely do see that. And I think it's a necessary thing that you're going to have to go through. I think that if you lay down your seeds correctly, I mean, the three of wands is a very, very good card. Okay. But it's because you have to treat it well. You have to make sure that you take care of your seeds. You know what I'm saying? That's just like if you plant something, you know, you have to take care of them. So if you just, you know, you can't just say, oh, well, I got you. And then, now, you know, um, but so this means that your romantic relationship is going to go well. But only if you're only if you're treating only if you're willing to treat your partner well and vice versa. If they are not, they're probably going to move on. OK, and then you're going to be missing them. So this person has already made their complaints and position clear to you is you know or it could be you you know um if you've met somebody recently this person really likes you and, you know so if you meet somebody this week don't bring all this negative stuff into it you know um work on it and then also i would say to make sure that you don't take people for granted okay um, I do get the sense that some of you Pisces out there probably do need a personalized reading. The link um, to get a personalized reading is in the video description box. Um, thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you uh, hit that subscribe button and that you also um, thumbs up this video. And... Um, also, make sure that you leave a comment. Oh, sorry. I wanted to remind you guys also of my 3,000 subscriber giveaway. Make sure that you check out that video to see if you're interested in entering. Thank you so much for watching and have a good week, Pisces. Bye.